Welcome to the shop of Team Fast Eddie. This is the first of several video tutorials that we're going to be doing on building the HPI Baja 5 BSS. We're taking the approach of a stock build with this particular video tutorial and we're going to follow the directions page by page to show you how to build the kit. It's not necessarily that complicated of a kit but it is very large and for several people that are out there that may have never built a kit before or are unsure of building a kit, we're going to walk you through every page step by step and pass along some of the knowledge that we have to help you get your 5B up and running quickly. During the first portion of this video we're going to go over several products that you're going to need to purchase to complete the kit. Um, we're going to suggest that you get these things first so that you have them available while your kit is all spread out and while you're building it to help minimize your your time that it takes you to get going. So what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and arrange all the different products on our table here that you're going to need to pre-purchase and we're going to get started with the first of our video tutorials for the Baja 5B. So hang loose, we're going to get this stuff arranged and uh, we're going to get rocking here. One of the first things that you're going to need to purchase if you don't already have is a radio system for your Baja. Um, we're going to highly suggest that you choose a DSM system. They're relatively inexpensive in price. One of the name brands on these is Spectrum. However, all of the different radio companies uh, and electronic companies are now offering them. The reason that we're choosing the DSM over an FM or an AM radio system is due to the fact that you don't have to worry about somebody else being on your channel if you're out bashing or racing with uh, several different people. Although it is a great to go out and have fun by yourself, a lot of the people with Bajas tend to gather together at the beach or in a parking lot for racing or at your local track or in a dirt field and it's just really nice to know and have the peace of mind that nobody else is on your, ch on your channel. When choosing a radio, a couple of things that you're going to need to do is make sure that is a minimum of two channel and three channel or four channel is a better choice. The first channel is going to be for your speed control so that you can go forward. On the Baja there is no reverse, however um, you will be going forward with it quite often. The second channel is going to be for your steering. The third channel can be to operate a lighting system. It can be for a cutoff switch and there are several other products that you can get to take advantage of the third channel. So we're going to suggest that you get a three channel radio um, such as the Spectrum DX3 or many other radios like it on the market. Um, you're also going to want to get yourself a receiver. If you have already have a radio, you just go out and purchase an additional receiver to get yourself going. The kit does not include a radio system so it is something that you are going to have to go out and get. The second item that you're going to need is a battery pack. The Baja operates on a sub C five cell battery pack. It uses a Tamiya connector for charging purposes and a Futaba style to hook into the radio. So this particular pack is purchased from Dave's Discount Motor. He's got uh, great prices on them and a good selection. Battery packs are also available from your local hobby shop online. Just make sure that you are getting specifically a pack for the Baja. We at this point are, are going away from NICAD batteries and do suggest that you buy a nickel metal hydride battery and the higher the milliamp rating the longer it's going to last in between recharges. Um, this is one item we suggest that you don't skimp on because the Baja is a 25 to 30 pound car when you're done and if it loses signal due to poor battery you can can hurt or kill somebody so invest in a good battery. They're well under $40 in, in most places. This particular battery is a 4200 milliamp which will last all day long if you're out bashing or you don't have to worry about charging it up every single time that you go out to to drive your Baja. Um, so again the higher the milliamp rating the the better off you're going to be. 
Um, there are some lipos if you want to research putting uh, lipo batteries in you are more than certainly welcome to do that as well however the industry standard on these today is the nickel metal hydride you're also going to want to get a charger for your battery if you don't already have one we don't suggest wall plug chargers or overnight chargers with this type of battery pack um, because you just don't know how well it's charged if it's charged or being overcharged and can catch on fire. So we will suggest that you use what they call a peak detection charger. They're available at any hobby shop, um, online. So do yourself a favor and you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on one if this is all you're using it for, but again do yourself a favor and get yourself a good peak detection charger. Another item that you are going to need that's not included is an on-off switch. This is for this particular purpose you're going to need a two wire on off switch. One is a male Futaba style, the other is a female. If you cannot find a two wire switch, some of them have there are a lot of three wire switches out there. Um, just know what you're doing and understand that you will have one wire that is not plugged in. So you will need a standard on off switch and a lot of the uh, radio systems when you buy one will come with it. If not, step on down to your local hobby shop and pick one up because it is a, a needed item. The last item that you're going to need to purchase is a throttle servo. The kit comes with a steering servo which is plenty adequate for the job and we'll go over that later. However, you will need a steering servo and it's a standard size RC car servo and we're going to suggest that you get yourself a good torque servo. Uh, these systems run at 6 volts so look at your 6 volt ratings and you're going to want to get something that is 150 inch pounds of torque or higher at 6 volts. Uh, our favorite one because of the amount of torque that you get for the price is a high tech 5645 Metal Gear servo and they're available at any hobby store um, or you can go to Team Fast Eddie. We always keep these in stock. It's our favorite servo. Um, so you can get them at TeamFastEddie.com. Uh, this particular servo is going to be around, take a look at it here, can't remember the numbers, at uh, 4 volts. It's putting out 143 inch ounces of torque. And at 6 volts, it's going to be somewhere around 170, 175 which is perfect. It's a good speedy servo. Um, we've never had one of these burn out in the field on us. Um, so again, do a little bit of research. Go out and pick yourself up a servo. Uh, these are the, the items that are needed in order to get your HPI Baja 5BSS kit up and running. Um, you will also need to purchase some gasoline and a gas can uh, so that you have somewhere to uh, refuel your, your Baja. But otherwise, as far as the building goes, these are the only components that you need. So do a little bit of research and go out and get these components before you start to build your Baja and it'll make it a lot easier as we go along.